Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us continue with the next question that is GATE CSE 2014th question. Okay, so consider the following nested representation of a binary tree. Okay, so X, Y, Z. Okay, so if we represent X, Y, Z, so they are giving some information guys. Indicates Y and Z are the left and right child. Okay, so if something is represented in this way, so here Y will be the left child and Z will be the right child. Right child. Means x will be the root right yes note that y and z may be null okay so in some situations y and z could be represented with a null guys so whenever there is no children we will represent with null okay or further nested which of the following represents a valid binary tree okay so let us start so basically they gave you the structure of a binary tree guys so it will be represented in terms of in this way if it is represented in this way it will be constructed in this way so they gave that idea and they are asking which of them is valid okay so let us start so let us take option a so in option a always where shall we start guys so few will be saying that starting from inside like from brackets will be easy and few will be saying that starting from start will be easy so let us go through both the methods okay yes so let us start so firstly let us go inside brackets okay okay so let us start so inside brackets what is this guys so here we are having four elements but our formula or our method is for three elements right hence this option is a directly eliminated right yes so even though you are having a five four, sorry four five six seven so in this who will be root guys if four is root how can there be three children it's not possible right so if there are three children how it can become a binary tree right yes so that is the reason why option a is absolutely wrong okay so now let us go through option two okay so first two three four okay so two will be the parent three and four will be the children sounds really good okay so let us continue so after that what it is saying after this this is done right yes so once this is done so this bracket we can take care right yes so if you check that bracket it is indirectly having four parts right so here one is a part here this whole tree is a part and here this is a part this is a part again here we are having four parameters means how can we draw it again this is also wrong with the same understanding you can say it is wrong got it yes okay so this is one method guys so in this way like drawing from inside so few will be saying that drawing from outside will be easy okay so let us try that also so for b only let us try so from outside means first you will draw one so what is the one it will be root so what is the left child this will be the left child two three four okay so what will be the right child so here we are having two childs so five and six so among that which you will you select so in even in that way also you can say this is wrong right yes so let us check c now so c so c is having two different brackets so one child sorry one sub tree is two is the root and three and four are the child children and five is the root six and seven are children okay so this became one part and this became one part and here we are having one so one is the root and we got the tree so this is a correct representation so this option is correct so this is a normal representation where i come from inside to outside right so what if you want to solve it from outside to inside so outside means first you will say one is the root two three four is one children and five six seven is one more children so again further moving on what you will do again this you can write right so two will be the root three and four will be the children similarly five will be the root six and seven will be the children so any way you do you will end up with the same solution guys okay got it yes so i prefer inside to outside guys because it's easy for me to understand okay yes so let us start so with option d so two three and null okay so if there is a null what it is there guys so there is no child here that's it okay but here he gave four and five so four and five what should i think so four assume that let us assume four is the root so five is a left child or right child so there's no clarity in this question so somewhere he should write a null so that is missing so that is the reason why this option is also wrong hence the answer will be c guys okay so now you got an idea right so there are various methods to solve a problem so the approach which looks easy for you or which you understand is important that's it okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you